It's Flash Day, everybody, and as you guys can already tell by my shirt, I got hired by Star Labs. You are not replacing Cisco. <laughs> what if I wanted to? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another reaction. Today, guys, we are checking out The Flash, Season 5, Episode 18, entitled... Godspeed. Okay. Let's address the elephant in the room, or in this case, the speedster in the room. Ha. Okay. Everyone basically knows who's coming. What's the title again? The Flash? No. Godspeed. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> One more time. What's the title? Godspeed. God. Speed. Speed. God. <laughs> Everyone knows who's coming. <laughs> this wasn't rehearsed. <laughs> I don't even know what you're It's doing. okay. <laughs> I'm fucking with her. Everybody knows, okay? Honestly, I'm really I'm really good for the most part, avoiding leaks and shit. This one, unfortunately, I saw the leak. I haven't seen anything else besides the leak. It's pretty obvious who's coming. We all know, I know, I wish I didn't know so I could actually react to the reveal. But my reaction is being mo more focused on how does the character look on screen? That's the main focus. Like I said, I saw the leak image, but that's just an image. It doesn't, it doesn't actually mean anything for what's actually going to be in the episode. I'm ready to see how they use the character in the context of the episode and how they ended the show before we went on break was that Nora was revealed. revealed and then within four it to five seconds, four to five seconds after she admitted it, Barry put her in the pipeline, put her in a, a cell. So I'm curious to see what happens in this episode. How does this character, which is the title of the episode, how does that person factor in? I don't know. I'm really excited. I'm really curious. Um, so yeah, I had to address it up front or else you guys be like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, I had to say it because I'm not going to be like, holy fucking shit, this is a huge surprise because I think everybody knows. So anyways, guys, it's about to start. Let's go. She knows what he did to us, to me. Mm-hmm. And she still worked with him. I can't believe the word she says. We don't know that. Yes, we do. We don't even know what happened. After finding out, like... Why do I know you're upset at me? What I should do, I should just, I should not have told you. Oh. How long has it been since you suspected her? Uh-oh. Since I arrived. <laughs> He's the master at it. Mm. Name drop immediately. Okay, but there hasn't been a speedster in Central City since that crisis piece your mom wrote about like decades ago. I mean, Flash, Kid Flash, Jay Garrick, that that weird purple speedster that just showed up one day. Oh. They're all gone. Wait. That's what you're suggesting. What? We know who that is. That speedster. Okay. I think. Sincerely, or are you just keep ignoring her mom? Never a speedster was quite like me. Okay. He has a voice! It was buried underneath the scar under your right shoulder. Oh, it was the... Yeah. Oh! First time using speed? Yep. <laughs> and I don't think it's a coincidence that this happened after my little run-in with the god of speed guy. You mean when Godspeed hit you with his lightning? Flash woman. Oh, Nora. Everybody can see who she is. Yeah. Oh my god. Jesus, mother of God. Still trying to find a name. Naming superheroes is not easy. <laughs> but you name Godspeed pretty quick. I start thinking like a villainous speedster. And how are you gonna do that? She don't know. I'm gonna go see one. 
this is where he comes into play. Ah, uh, okay. Uh. Oh, those are the ones. Closer. Closer. Is that what kind of makes her want to talk to him more? Same being tortured like that, that? That is that what causes like the timer or whatever? It's to dampen your speed. She's even a speedster for her, all her life, maybe. It looks like you always had them. Your mom lied to you your whole life. Oh, I thought for a second we were gonna see Iris be confronted. Oh, can we see that? He'll go through you easily. Whoa! Yeah, I'm about to say, she can't really do anything. No. Holy shit! Oh my. After all I did, she gave me a second chance. Yeah. So at least we can do for her. Oh. She's gonna let her out. Uh oh. Okay, is she making the right choice? I don't know. What are you doing? Well, I'm giving her daughter the chance to explain this to herself. Okay. Okay. Nora. I think we're gonna get that confrontation. Oh my god, look at the gray in her hair. Wow. Just lightning doesn't hurt as much when you already have it coursing through your veins. I thought she drops it. <laughs> Godspeed? He was in the Flash Museum. Remember? Yeah. Oh! Wait! Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Darkest hour, she goes to him. But with you, I can't. Who else did she have to go to? This is true. Oh! You need to destroy that thing. Better keep running. Just like. Just. I don't know. <laughs> he shouldn't. <laughs> oh, she got hit too. Oh, she's still going. August Tart is in the custody of CCPD. Okay. It's pretty quick. She brought him a drink. Mm. <laughs> what? You have no idea. What do you know? Well, a lot of things. Gideon tells her. Is that crisis? Oh my God. Oh my
That's the issue. Oh, that's gonna hurt. After he drops off Nora. Yeah. Okay, so I think that overall oh, this is a really good episode. This was a really good episode. Great episode. It was a great episode. I, I uh, love the Flash. I mean, it's it's picking up a notch for sure. My one complaint. You always have a complaint. I, I have to mention it up front because <laughs> there's so many positives. Godspeed was great. The actor, I... Because I'm like... Okay, if... The rumor is that Godspeed is going to have some sort of presence in Season 6, rumored-wise. Okay. If so, you really need to like dive into me seeing the character because just seeing him just walk by Nora for a second and like, that's Godspeed! I'm like, eh, I don't know. Cause I guess it's because I heard the rumor of Michael Rosenbaum, who played Lex Luthor on Smallville, portraying. I mean, that would have been phenomenal maybe that's the problem but the suit was great i really liked the suit i feel bad because lily her best friend kind of acted like cisco like was naming trying to name her she's terrible at it though yeah but <laughs> she got godspeed pretty quick um and godspeed said the same line that savage i brought this up in a, in a break that savitar when he first introduced himself in season three he's like savitar the god of speed like godspeed said the same thing the god of speed I guess he didn't name himself, so he just called himself the God of Speed because he was just trying to make. It'd be him... weird. Um, yeah, it... Godspeed. He's Godspeed. The God of Speed. Yeah, but <laughs> if you notice, he couldn't catch Nora. No. You're not the God of Speed, dude. You can't even catch a girl who's only had, who only just found out she has. Well, he had injected himself with that Velocity Nine or whatever. That's true, but it's like you, if you're if you're gonna call yourself the God of Speed. You need to be faster. And Nora, who's had the powers all this time, but she had that dampener, which he accidentally knocked it out of her or, you know, um, basically destroyed it when he shot lightning at her. It's like, you can't even catch her. And we saw how fucked up she was doing where she's like, she hits that security guy and then she's hitting all the cars and shit. <laughs> she can't control herself. I know. I also forgot to mention the intro because we were so focused on just covering the fact that, hey, everybody knows what's coming in this episode. Daniel Panabaker's direct, di directorial debut. And uh, she was barely in the episode, but that's because she was, like, directing it. I think she did pretty good, especially with the speech for stuff. I wasn't sure how that was going to go over. I think she did a pretty good job. And it kind of mirrored the pilot of Flash seeing Norris, like, rushing, getting to the crime scene because she's late. Chaotic. And then how she got her speed where literally the, the lightning, we saw it running up her head or whatever, just like Barry in the ending of uh, Arrow, the second episode he was on Arrow season two when he got struck by lightning, the lightning crawling up his head. Same thing on her. I noticed that uh, little added uh, thing there. And I like how they really dove into why she went to Reverse Flash. Because I was like, they got to cover that because we keep seeing her go back. And we kept theorizing, what's the timer for? It's because he's, he's, he's dying. Ten minutes left. Do you think he's actually dying? I don't feel like he is. He's the Reverse Flash. He, he is the. Because I've always said, since he was the season one main villain, which makes sense, he is the, the biggest Flash villain. He has to be the main villain for the final season two. I feel like that's a nice way to wrap it up where he's season one main he's villain. Get out somehow. Yeah. He periodically pops up from time to time and now to kind of close out the show, he comes back for the final season as the main focus again and then you end the show. Note, they name dropped Jay Garrick, Wally, Jesse Quick, all that, talking about a crisis. So are they hinting at Jay Garrick and Wally and maybe even Jesse Quick are all going to die in the crisis event? I don't know. But that video that... That th video made my eyes water. It was it was emotional. Was that crisis or something later? Because 
She grew up without him around. So wait a minute. Because Christ on Infinite Earths, Barry Allen, in that storyline, he actually sacrifices himself. They renewed the show for season six. Is it getting like a 10 episode deal just like Arrow and they haven't said it yet and he actually is going to I die? I not. I'm just saying, I don't know because unless that video was recorded after Crisis, which looks like like something, like everything's destroyed behind him. Like you can yeah. barely see anything and they made that clear. Like you're not going to see much. You're not hearing anybody talking. It's just him. I, I'm, I'm just so focused on the small details. But I like how she found out by, Earbar didn't even tell her. Gideon told her, yeah, your dad's, told your dad's her, the flash. He told, he told her where to go. Yeah, but when she talked to Gideon, Gideon's like, oh, hi, Nora. Like, nothing. She's yeah. like, what? It's like, oh, yeah, you're the daughter of Iris the flash. and Barry, also known as the Flash. And that that's a big reveal for her. Are you okay with Barry leaving her in the future? No. It was way too... Do you think it's he because... It was so cold. Now, before this episode, I understood why he put her in the pipeline. And put her in the jail in the jail cell, but he it's, lied to her. Yeah, she, she lied, lied to, him. to him. After hearing her story, and honestly, Iris with the the, the gray in her hair, she didn't look older. She, she just, just had gray in her hair. <laughs> yeah, they could have done a much better job. She Come had on. some bags on her eyes. Maybe they spent so much money on that that uh, that Godspeed suit, they didn't have a lot of time to a lot of money to spend on. Uh, Maybe Iris is just gonna live down forever. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, yeah, he was really cold taking her back. He just kind of like threw with, her out there and left. I think he planned that because he told everybody to leave the room. He planned it all out. He knew he was going to do it. I mean, he wanted her locked up. Yeah. So you're going to unlock her. going to take her back. Well, his first question was, how many times did you see Thawne after the Enlightenment? Which was season four finale. Five or six times. Now, do you think if she would have said once, maybe he would have not done it? I don't know. I don't know, because see, once he sent everybody out of the room, it's like, okay. He knew what he was going to do. He knew what he was going to do. He was just wanting some answers first. <sighs> He's like, I want to know. So she can't, so she she could attempt to come back, but he'll know. I feel like he was mad. But do you think after seeing Reverse Flash, Mike changes mind? Or do you think it's going to be like, no matter what this man says, even though he has 10 minutes to live, I'm not going to trust. Because he's seeing all the negative. But she went to him because she couldn't talk to Iris. Apparently, there's no other speech she could talk to because they're all gone. I'm telling you, man. Cross and Mirrors are going to kill off a lot of characters. Um, so the one person she goes to is Reverse Flash. I feel like he was just mad because, I mean, Reverse Flash is who killed his mother. Yeah. That, like that, I feel like that's her the only reason her that he was really... She, she never grew up with her grandmother because she died all those years ago by the man she's getting... And you you brought this up. How does he have access to all that information? And yeah, like looking at like information from the city, and he can talk on the phone or through the comms. Like he could easily like dial anybody up and just be like, okay, this is how you're gonna destroy the city. Yeah, he, he could find he could find out Godspeed's number. And say, hey man, can you come break me out? That'd be great. I mean, you can use your speed out right outside the door of his cell yeah. because she can speed right in and Barry sped right in. I don't know. Um, overall, this is a really good episode. I'm glad the show is back. And what I'm happy for is that there's no more breaks. So we're going to straight through it and then we'll be done and it'll be summer. And then we get to have our own vacation away from doing these videos, which I, I love doing them, but I hate the editing afterward. That's the hardest part. If, if the, if the editing was really sim simple, I'd be fine. But this is really difficult shit. This will be hard to edit. But anyways, good. We cover everything. I think we covered everything. I feel like we did. Sherlock was barely in the episode besides the actor Tom Cavanaugh think, playing Reverse Flash. Did they Flash. send him out? They the sent him out right immediately. Like after he revealed, he's like, what? He's like, I've known this whole time. Like I've been uncovering like, it the whole like, time. He's like, I kind of, I kind of suspicions when I got Although, here. Although, I don't know why they got so mad. Like if someone was uncovering something, because, I wouldn't want to know what it is but until she's, they like. And Iris is like, why didn't you tell me sooner? Because you confronted him way before the reveal in that hallway sequence where she's like, you need to stop going down that path of like looking into Nora and all that crap. Yeah. It's, it's like, they you stopped him. Or they <sighs> wanted him to stop. I know. Could you imagine if he would have just stopped? <sighs> something's going to happen though. I mean, she's back in the future. Something's going to happen. How is Sherlock going to interact with the rest of the team now? Probably awkward. Probably awkward. 
as shit. But I guess we'll find out in the next episode about how they all respond to him throwing Nora back in the future. Because we didn't see anything of that. It's just... I... I think everybody's going to... Have mixed feelings, you think? Yeah. I think it's going to be a mixed bag. Okay, guys. That's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will uh, talk to you guys soon.